Okay. Tuloy na natin si tip to tail method natin or the, the polygon method. So, tuloy-tuloy na from that point, from vector to vector, i-connect nyo siya one by one. Okay? From the tip of one vector, i-connect yung tail ng susunod the vector, and so on and so forth. Tuloy-tuloy na yung process, depende sa kung gaano karaming vectors ang given doon sa example ninyo. So, for here nga, we are given three. Let's now draw or connect force 3 or vector 3 here, 20 newtons north already. How many 10? In 20, dalawa. So, therefore, ang length ng arrow natin ay 2 centimeters naman. So, nakapag-drawing na ako kanina dito ng ating mini Cartesian plane. Again, that is, used, that is useful for you to just uh, plot properly yung pag-connect ng ating mga vectors to each other. Okay, so since north lang naman yan, we now have our like mini guide or mini Cartesian plane at the tip of vector 2. Let's now connect the tail of vector 3 to that. So 2 centimeters lang yan. Ayan, from the tip of vector 2, let's connect the tail of vector 3 or force 3. So let's now draw the arrow of 2 centimeters. Okay, I hope I draw that properly. Okay, so that's now 2 centimeters. Now, just like what I, you see here, let's just be careful. Huwag lang masyado pong makapal yung arrows na dinodraw natin. Like this, this, uh, uh, width or kapalan ng mga lines natin ay okay na. Medyo nakapalan ko pa ng konti dito, but it's okay. But please avoid using that, uh, avoid doing that. Okay, huwag masyado makapal ang uh, lines ng ating vector. So this is now actually force 3 or 4, uh, yeah, vector 3. So, ayan na. Napagdikit-dikit na natin. So, the sense na pagdikit-dikit na natin ngayon yung lahat ng vectors sa isa't isa. And we just have 3 vectors as per in our given example here. Ready? Last, uh, and then naman last, the next thing now you should do is now draw the resultant vector. Alamin na natin yung resultant vector. Sir, paano natin na alamin yung resultant vector? Well, now, what you just do is just draw an arrow. Okay? draw an arrow from the tip now of the uh, last vector na nikinonect natin papunta ngayon sa point of origin natin. So now as you can see, I'll be now drawing the line here from the tip of vector 3 to the point of origin. Yan na yung tinatawag natin na resultant vector since we ha now have added them graphically through the tip to tail method. So let me draw Drawing natin ng ganyan. Ayan. So, ito na yung resultant vector natin. Pakapalan lang natin. Sir, how do we... Since dito yung dulo or yung arrowhead ng ating vector, it points here the point of origin. Maglagay tayo ng arrowhead dito. Okay, that's the point of origin. So, itong line na na ito, this uh, uh, small line here, now is our resultant vector. So, let's label it with a capital letter R or an R with an arrow on top. That's the resultant vector already. Okay? Next. Okay, so alam na natin ang resultant vector. Ngayon, again, just to take note, this is the polygon method. So, yung... Uh, arrow na magko-close na ng polygon natin is now usually the resultant vector. So, this is like the polygon now formed from connecting the three vectors F1, 2, and 3. Here is our resultant vector. Now, how do you know the exact value of our resultant vector? I-measure natin, okay? Measure natin resultant vector using our ruler. Since we use the centimeter side, yun ang gagawin natin. Now, from the centimeter, gamit yung scale na given, malalaman natin ulit ang katumbas na naman ngayon in Newton. So, now, let us measure first the length of the resultant vector. Maybe we can start uh, measuring the length magmula dito sa ating point of origin. Okay, I hope nakikita natin na mabuti. Tapat ko lang yun na mabuti. So, now, as you can see, it's around... The length of the resultant vector is around here, or around 5.5 centimeters. Okay, so, it take note lang natin yan. So, uh, our resultant vector now, um, the measured one, so, ita lagay lang natin dito sa itaas. Ang measured length natin ay, sorry, it's not 2, 
it's 5.5 centimeters. Okay? So, 5.5 centimeters. Yan, kunin natin ang katumbas na may yan dito sa newtons. Okay? Now, so, 5.5 cm to uh, like 10 newtons. Sabi natin, per 1 cm is 10. So, there is now 5 here. So, that's 50. And then, we have another like 0.5 of a centimeter so therefore that is now 55 okay 0.5 kasi half nga so like a uh, half of a centimeter is now also half netong 10 na to. so that's 55 uh, newtons okay or it's just like 5.5 times 10 so parang ganon ang nangyayari okay Continuing on. Now, alam na natin yung magnitude ng resultant vector natin, which is now 55 newtons. We now, tignan naman natin ang direction ngayon ng ating resultant vector na nakuha natin kanina yun, itong CR. Okay? So, gamit na ngayon tayo ng protractor. Okay. Uh, again, make sure, please, yung protractor natin ay sana ma maayos po ang pagkakaprit ng mga guhit para ma uh, kita natin ng mabuti. So, medyo maglalapit lang tayo ng konti. Uh, pardon the shadow already of my phone here because it's quite big. I'm standing up here right now. So, tapat natin si protractor sa point of origin ulit. Ayan. And now, let's try to see. Nikita nyo, ito, ito, ito. Itong, dito sa part na ito. If you see this arrow, that is the resultant vector there. So, from here, gamitin yung protractor. Okay? Yung protractor, alamin muna natin kung nasa side pala. Okay? Si R ay nasa second quadrant natin. So, most likely, the direction now here is north of west because it's here in our second quadrant already. Okay? So, from this point, so, alam natin na sa north of west na let's just count already like how many is the degrees okay from the west line pagpapunta sa ating north line dito okay so kung titingnan natin nakatapat ang ating uh, resultant vector na r dito sa guhit na to this is now 85 degrees from the west line okay so, yun ang nakikita ko base dito sa pagkakatapat ko sa protractor. So, 85 degrees. That is our degrees already. That is now the direction. Okay? And since our vector now here is at the second quadrant, most likely now the direction of the vector, since sabi natin, palagi natin basis ay ang east-west line, that will now be north of west because from uh, west, the resultant vector now is 85 degrees going to the north. So, 85 degrees north of west. Yan na ang magnitude at ang direction ng ating resultant vector given the three vectors na pinag-add natin through our polygon or our tip-to-tail method. So, we, let's just now put the angle here. Ayan. Yung angulo natin, kung pwede mas ganda pa natin sa mga outputs natin, that is now 85 degrees north of west. From west, you go 85 degrees up by north. That is where the resultant vector is. So, ganyan gawin ang ating polygon or awang, ang ating uh, tip-to-tail method.